Kentucky men will need to be married, take an oath, and much more to get medications like Viagra. That plan creating a lot of talk tonight. Nine on your side's John Genovese just spoke with the representative behind that bill. And John joins us live now with the real motive. John? Well, first off, she says she has no faith that this will actually pass. She says she introduced it after new laws requiring women to undergo counseling before an abortion went into effect earlier this month. And she says the government needs to stay out of personal private decisions. On paper, this is House Bill 396. It's crazy. My first thought is crazy. Introduced last week, it would require men in Kentucky to be married, visit the doctor twice, have a signed and dated letter from their wife, and take a sworn oath to only have sex with that person in order to be prescribed erectile dysfunction medications like Viagra. The government shouldn't be totally preaching on you know, morality. It's the same point State Representative Mary Lou Marzian says she's trying to make. We need to get government out of medical care and back into taking care of the budget, education, and jobs. Earlier this month, Governor Matt Bevin signed into law new requirements for women to undergo in-person or video conference counseling at least 24 hours before an abortion. In response, Marzian tells me she's turning the tables. What I have meant to do with it has been accomplished. It has awakened a wave of, of women and men who are sick and tired of government intruding and personal private decisions. Stopping by Main Straw's village, the people we spoke with seem to agree. If men have to wait in line for something and go jump through hoops and circles, women have to. Why shouldn't men? In a state house of 80 men and 20 women. They don't understand the implications. The Louisville Democrat tells me she's getting flooded by messages from women across the country. They are thrilled that there's somebody out there that is saying stop it. Now, moments before we went on the air, we did hear back from Governor Matt Bevin's office. A spokesperson tells me legislation like this is wasting the people's business. We do not consider abortion a joke, and it should not be trivialized. That spokesperson went on to say the legislation the governor signed was passed overwhelmingly by Republicans and Democrats in the legislature and supported by 17 female lawmakers in the House and Senate. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side. John.